Hey guys, welcome back to Candy Beauty. So I'm super excited as I'm like wiping my hands off of makeup because I've been swatching, been doing a little sneak peek. Don't hate. Anyways, anyways, super excited. I've been hearing lots of good things about this baby. I did pick her up on the VIP sale along with a lot of other goodies. Um, can't wait to show you guys my VIP haul once everything comes in. Anyways, I'm super excited to create some looks. We're going to do some swatches, dive into this palette, see if it's all about. I did want to get the collection, the vault, but it was sold out, unfortunately. So anyways, if that comes around, I will show you guys the brushes and everything, maybe in like a haul video. But anyways, what is on my face today? I have my... Danessa Myricks Light Work 3 palette on. I also have my Glowish Bronzer Powder, the Glossier uh, Cloud Paint in Dusk and Dawn. I am wearing my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Intrigue lipstick. And then on top of that, I have the Cinderella Sigma Collection, what is this, Magical Lip Gloss. Right here, I have my Givenchy Prisma Libra Powder on. I'm also wearing the Dior No Powder Powder. Um, I have my Hourglass Veal Setting Spray. And I'm trying to think of what else. I think that's it. Oh, my Laneige Cushion Concealer. And my YSL Bear. What is it called? I keep forgetting. The YSL Bear Look Tint. New Bear Look Tint. Anyways, that's what I have on my face today. So we're going to, I think, create a couple of different looks. So we're going to get right into the details of this palette. We'll create some looks. And then we'll kind of decide how this palette unfolds, if it's good, if it's not. Um, it's been a while since Huda has released a bigger palette. I love her bigger palettes typically um, because they are made in Italy. I also like the little palettes too, but those are a little bit more, you know, I don't know what the word is. Sometimes they're a little hit or miss. But um, the last one she came out with were really beautiful. I'm actually picking those up on the VIB sale too. So anyways, if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Tap the bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos. Because we do a lot of makeup here at Kenny Beauty. And we have some good giveaways coming up from now until the end of the year. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's get right into this palette. Wear the energy you want to attract with this crystal inspired eyeshadow palette featuring 18 supercharged shades that are effortlessly easy to blend and layer. Our rose quartz collection has been created to inspire you to glow your own way with the richy earth hues, rosy tints, and pearly metallics will bring you the best beauty vibes and mesmerizing makeup looks. Shades blend true to color on all skin tones. There's eight velvet soft pigmented mattes, three high shine buttery metallics, three pearly soft shine metallics, three quartz inspired multi shimmer marble creams, one crushed stone pearly gloss hybrid. It says minimum fallout and kickback and it is cruelty free, fragrance free and suitable for all skin tones. And it is 17.35 grams, 0.61 ounces, and made in Italy. Okay, so really quick before we get into creating some looks, I do just want to show you guys like all of the shades I'm totally excited about using. Um, I'm really, really super excited. Like, can we just admire these shimmer shades? So, so pretty. I'm really excited to get into some looks here, but I do want to start out doing just, just because this is such a fun, glitzy, sort of like perfect for the holidays. Um, I do want to start out though with some natural sort of everyday looks because I do feel like a lot of people are not, you know, including those types of looks in their video. And I feel like this is actually a really good palette for every day as well. So we're going to go in with this shade right here called Radiate first. I'm just using my Chantecai Eye Basic brush and I'm just going into like the transition a little bit below the brow. 
This is a beautiful, cool toned transition shade. Okay, so and now that I put down the transition radiate shade, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is like also like a cool toned mauve -ish sort of a shade called Precious. And I'm just going to go in and stamp that in to give some dimension to radiate in the crease and on the outer V corner of the eyelid. Mm. That is beautiful. All right, so that's looking pretty seamless. Now I'm gonna go in with my finger first right into this shade here called Energized. Hmm. Wow. This Energized is definitely giving me like Natasha Denona glam face palette vibes. Ooh, yes. Okay, and I just realized I forgot to put on foundation. So, sorry for my bare facedness, but anyway, um, you know, it is what it is. There's no going back now. So I was gonna add a little bit more to this look and then I'm like, wait a second, this is a natural look. So I'm just gonna go into the bottom with um, Radiate and Pretty and Precious. So I'm just going in with Radiate first. Just do like a full on sweep. I'm, I'm using my BK Beauty 202 brush. I am hoping that they're gonna do a Black Friday sale. Does anybody know? Because I want to get more of their brushes. They're just the most softest, like, smoothest brushes. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Precious. I think last year they did. Okay, I'm going in with my 204 BK Beauty now. With Precious. And now I'm going to go in with Energized again. And I just wet my brush a little with my Hourglass. Veal. Setting spray. Oh my gosh, which reminds me, I need to restock on that. I forgot to, so I have my cart, right? Has anybody else just been like loving this this sale for Sephora? Um, which you can get this palette on the sale, I believe. The collection with the brushes, which is what I wanted to get, is sold out, but that's all right. Um, I might actually grab another one of these too for a giveaway. So I am doing a year end giveaway. Um, I usually do anywhere between like five to 10. I forget how many people won last year, but it was quite a few. This year's is even bigger and better than last year's. I've got some Natasha Denona, some Danessa Myrick, some Pat McGrath. We're just gonna be giving away a lot of goodness. So I think I've told you guys bits and pieces here and there, like some people I've let know like one-on-one, -on -one, but I did wanna just tell you all that um, basically the rules for the giveaway are going to be that from November on, you need to comment and like every video and then bring over a friend. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do the whole Christmas every day, 12 days, you know, 24 day, 25 days of Christmas. I don't know that yet. I do know my giveaway is probably gonna be ending mid-January. So basically now between mid-January, as long as you like every video, comment on every video, and then bring over a friend, to the channel, then you're entered. I wanna keep it really simple, and it's just because I want to reward the people that really engage on the videos, that give great comments, that are always asking questions or just adding to the videos by giving their wonderful thoughts and everything, and I, I really enjoy that. That means so much to me when you guys comment, and I love just going through all the thoughts. You guys like are geniuses. Your little Kimmy Beauty will be geniuses. Okay, so sorry, back to the video. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna clean this up, uh, throw on a pair of lashes, and then we'll be back for the other side. Okay, so here's this look. Pretty impressed. Okay, 
So now let's just go in again with more of a, I mean, it's, it's not like really a natural look. I think I want to play with the pinks is what I want to do. So this lash is kind of driving me nuts. I should have picked up. I'm so, I'm going to have like five different orders for the VIB sale because I should have picked up the hoodie. Huda Beauty Lashes, they're one of my favorites, and I completely just blanked out on some stuff like my Dermalogica, my Veal Hourglass Setting Spray, there were things that I needed to restock on, the benefit I was going to get the double pack, so like five orders later, Sephora, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to go in with, what am I going to do, we're going to go in with this sort of baby powder pink called cherished first and I'm just sort of sweeping that underneath the brow area all the way across oh that is pretty I'm just going in with the eye definer brush Chantecaille okay so now I'm going in with this shade here called happiness and I'm using my other Chantecaille eye basic brush and I'm just going to stamp in happiness in the outer V area. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this shade right ooh, here called Joy. I'm just going to tap that on with my finger first towards the bottom of the lid just to lay it down. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, so now in the inner corner, I did go under the eye with happiness, and now in the inner corner right here, I'm going to go with my BK204 with self-love. Okay, so this is it for these two looks. Now we're going to create a few more looks. I'm not sure how many, but we might do a five look video today. You guys are in for a treat. All right, so let me take my lashes off, put my primer on, and we'll be back for our final looks. Okay, next up we're going in with this pink rosy shade called, sort of pink mauvey rosy shade called Serenity. And I'm just sort of dusting that all over the crease area. Okay, now I'm going back in with that same Chantecaille brush, that same shade, and I'm just patting it in. I just want to give a little bit more depth and dimension on the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going in with this sort of beaded shade here called Love Story, which is like a transparent, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like a glossy jelly shade. All right, now that that's down, I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Blissful and I'm just tapping that over that gloss shade okay so here is this look and I'm really loving 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 this shade what is it called again Blissful so pretty and it's surprisingly it's not creasing we'll see how it wears but Ooh, so pretty. Okay. So now I want to get into some of like the more sort of crazy looks. Not crazy, but like, you know, party. So we're going to go in with this shade right here called Mancha. Ooh, that is beautiful. Deep and pigmented and beautiful. Wow. Oh, I love this shade. What a beautiful, like, brownish. Wow. That is so pretty. Okay, now right above that with my BK Beauty, I'm going to go in with this pink shade called Happiness. And just going back in with Mantra. And now I'm just sort of blending that out with the BK Beauty. Oh, 
I love that matcha shade. Absolutely love it. What a beautiful matte color. All right, so now I'm going in with Cosmic Love up here. And I'm just putting that on with my finger first. And now I'm just going in with my Artist Synthetic Brush. I get these uh, Michaels and Joanne Fabrics. Um, and I'm just going in. I do feel like these work better though with a finger. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go underneath the eye. I'm going to go down first with this gloss sticky shade. And then I'm going to go in with Cosmic Love right underneath. All right, and now with lashes and some mascara. Okay, and now on to our final look. Okay, so we're going to go back in with this shade here called Surrender. And I'm just going in with my Chantecai brush. And I'm just sort of putting that like above the brow area. And I'm blending it out. And then I'm going above that with this shade right here called Cherished. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this shade. It's like a shimmer shade. But it's pretty opaque called Empowered with that same Chantecaille brush. I'm just tapping a little bit on my lid with my finger because I do want a little bit more opacity in the outer corner there. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with this Moon Magic shade. First with my finger. Yeah, the only thing is this is very, some of these shades are very crumbly. Okay, now I'm just going to go in over top of that with a brush. I don't know, I feel like I need something more. I do really like it the way it is. Okay, you guys, so we're back, and I did decide to get the Rose Quartz Balm just because I love the Silk Honey one that she came out with a while back, so I knew I would probably love this one as well, and like this packaging on these is so gorgeous. So I just put a little bit of Lisa Eldridge um, Velvet Intrigue in Velvet Petal on. I did pro uh, bronze with the Glowish Huda Beauty Bronzer, my new fave. It was one of my recommendations. My Sephora VIB, highly, highly, highly recommend this. And then also the Glowish Blush, which I picked up like two more of. Um, and so let me just swatch this for you guys really fast on the back of my hand because it does look like it's more opaque where it is the um the honey balm was more of a transparent so this i'm actually liking really really liking that color it's kind of like a milky sort of creamy baby pink yes i like that actually a lot that is beautiful Oh yeah, and then I did put some of the Cosmic and the Moon as like a highlight as well. Just sort of tested it out. And it's really pretty actually. It works really well as a highlight. There's no smell to this. This does come with a vault with a collection. Um, I did also want to pick up the highlighter, but you can only get that at Huda Beauty's site. So I still may pick that up at some point. Especially if she has a Black Friday sale. I am definitely going to be picking up a bunch. I actually love 
Love that this is more of an opaque, not as transparent as the Honey Balm. Um, so this is it, you guys. This is our final look. And uh, I just feel like it's been good release after good release. This is so good. So good. Oh my goodness. I actually might get another one. I might get another one with the 20% off. It's it's so beautiful. I already hit pan on um, this shade up here. The Cosmic Love. I'm about to hit pan on Moon, Ma Moon Magic and then Love Stone. I just think overall this is such a good palette. Like there's so many beautiful sort of party-ish looks you can do. But then there's also like the everyday sort of more nude, you know, vibe going on as well. You know, so it's like really the best of both worlds. And I'm not typically a cooler tone person lover, but she really knocked it out of the park with this. And I do feel like these are cool tones that would work well on any skin tone. I just, I love this formula. I love the mattes. Oh my gosh, this right here is such a beautiful, cooler brown. Like, I don't even think I have a brown like this in my collection yet, so I'm really excited about that. I loved the way that this blended on the eye. It really stuck to the outer corner, but then you could sort of airbrush it up. It was so beautiful. I love this shimmer shade too. Where is it? This one. It's just... Um, Deep enough and dark enough that it can work as an outer corner shade. It's got the opacity, but then it's got that shimmer metallic sort of a vibe. Just so pretty. This palette is beautiful. The only thing that gave me a little bit of problem was this shade Joy. But I do think it's like the type that you really have to melt in. Maybe if I hadn't used a base, it would have worked better. But everything worked really beautifully. And then Blissful right here. Such a beautiful like topper shade or not topper shade like all of these shades are so versatile and just really work beautifully. I, I'm just really really impressed. You can create so many looks with this palette. Just so many beautiful beautiful looks. I'm very very impressed. Um, I highly recommend if you guys have not checked this out. If you are Savora VIB members get this get it on sale right now this is so good i do hope that the vault comes back because i would like to get it with the brushes i really think the brushes are really beautiful and i'm like kicking myself in the butt because i should have just grabbed it right away on the fifth and i like hauled off because i wanted to finalize my card and everything and then can we just can we just talk about this packaging huda really 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 knocked it out of the part with this palette. I think this is one of my favorite Huda Beauty palettes. Yeah, I, I really do. Um, at least my favorite in the last two to three years that she's come out with. So, so, so stunning. So beautiful. And then, you know, a lot of people were giving like this, the whole Petri or whatever you want to call it, this balm a heck of a hard time and they were like ew 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 I honestly think that this is so pretty um and I feel like it's it really helps because these are sort of more chunkier um melt in the skin shades I really feel like this balm works so well um to adhere the shadows the shimmer shadows work great on this I've never had something like a gloss balm like this on the lids that did not crease and this does not crease like it works and it just sort of blends everything so together so well I'm just I'm just really in all of this palette so again if you guys have not picked this up I really really recommend picking it up I just think it, it would work and look beautiful on any skin tone any type of skin I, I really 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 am surprised how much I am loving this palette um it's, it's just really beautiful and I love the fact that you can wear it every day and you can also, you know, spice it up, glitz it up. I love that about this palette. So definitely pick this up on the sale. I will link it down below. You can also get it from Huda's site. I think just Sephora and Huda's site is the only place you can get it right now. 
I know Ulta doesn't sell Huda Beauty. Um, and honestly, all of her products have been so good. I've been loving the Glow Wish products too lately. Um, so yeah, I really highly, highly recommend. I'm like, I'm very, very happy that I decided to get this. I just wish I'd gotten the vault now, but that's all right. I've got my notification on. They're going to email me when it comes back in stock. Hopefully it's during the Sephora VIB sale because I really, really want those brushes. And I already hit pan on these shades. So like you guys know that this has to be a good eyeshadow for me, palette for me to hit pan. Like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, sound off below. Let me know, are you thinking about picking this up? Have you picked it up? What are your thoughts on this palette? Um, what are your thoughts on the looks that we created today? Just, you guys know I love to hear from you, as always. So please comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!